Hello, my name is Adora Svitak, and as some of you YouTubers may know, I'm the author of Flying Fingers, Master the Tools of Learning Through Joy of Writing, and I published this book when I was seven years old. Now I'm 11, and I'm going to be reading some excerpts from this book. If you have not already seen my reading from this part one, where I'm reading the first part of the Rebels Award, I would strongly advise you to do so, because I'm continuing from there. So... Catherine is sitting next to the most despicable bully in the academy, Rihanna Broadsmat. So, you've been rolling with the goats, hey? Rihanna whispered, leaning towards Catherine. Rihanna, Giovanna said sharply, looking up. I just needed to get a closer look at my book thing. You know how bad my eyes are, Rihanna said in the high-pitched, fakey, fakey voice she always used to trick the teachers. Catherine rolled her own eyes. Bad enough, bad eyesight indeed. But she knew better than to protest and settled on ignoring Rihanna. Yes, Rihanna, Giovanna said, turning to reprimand Rihanna Broadsmat for putting her elbows on the desk. Fire, fire, never tire, Rihanna muttered under her breath, aiming her stare at Catherine's desk. Within moments, Catherine's desk was in flames. Catherine, Giovanna shouted, hurrying over and almost tripping on her black dress. What are you doing? I didn't start it, Catherine shouted. I'm sure you did, Giovanni said. You have been practicing your magic ever since you arrived, even though outside of magic arts class, magic is strictly forbidden here at the academy. You will receive detentions this week. I will be expecting you in my office. Hot tears ran down Catherine's face at the unfairness of it. She had been practicing magic when it was forbidden, yes, but everyone accused her of wrongdoing without even thinking twice. Catherine jumped from her chair, slid her things into her magic pouch, and ran to the upper chamber where her brother, Hum, was practicing various spells. Hello, Hum, Catherine said, throwing her pouch into the closet. What's up? Um asked, removing a charm he had just put on Asweet, his toy elephant, and turning to Catherine. Rihanna set fire to my desk, Catherine said. I got the blame. Now I've gotten two detentions this week. Dad will be so disappointed in me after all I tried to do. Suddenly, stomping her foot, Catherine turned around to face Helm and cried, I don't even want to be a lady. I never will be anyways. Dad promised to take me beyond the twin gates into the unknown land and far away to the valleys where Mum was born and even farther to the realm of Iosis. You don't know that, do you? Hum asked slyly. Okay, well thank you very much for listening and this will be continued. So will she get to go beyond the valleys into the unknown land? If you'll find that out, be sure to catch my reading part three. See you next time, everyone. Have a great new week.